All right, so I've got a question about one of my shifting videos from somebody called Deborah, and uh, she says, I'm unsure what to feel. I'm 60 years old and I have carried so much pain from mistakes made by either myself or others. Can this help me? And so this is referring to my video called The Language of Reality Shifting, uh, which is, I don't know if you can see it like that. Yeah. So th there's a couple of things I wanna say uh, about this, Deborah, and if anyone's watching and it's like feeling the same thing, maybe you're thinking you're too old to shift or too old to change your reality, too old uh, to do any of these things, or it's not, maybe not specifically that you're too old, but maybe it's that you feel like you've made so many mistakes in the past, or you know people around you have made so many mistakes that you feel kind of stuck. So there's, there's a couple of things that I really wanna make clear here. Uh, and before I get into this, if you haven't watched my big old video on shifting, it's on YouTube, it's about, it's about 45 minutes long, I think, maybe half an hour. Anyway, the link's in the description. It might be in the pinned comment. Go and check that out first because that explains everything you need to know about shifting and like, how it works and that kind of thing. Okay, so let's just address the first thing. I've said in other videos about these experiments that have been done on human DNA, which show that when you stimulate someone's, someone's emotions, essentially, that then affects their DNA, even if that DNA has been removed from their body, and even if that DNA is separated from their body by about 300 miles. I mean, for all we care, it could be on another planet. The fact is, emotions stimulated in your body affect your DNA no matter where it is. So what does that actually mean? Well, what it means is that you, we have an, an effect on our reality instantaneously. It doesn't matter how old you are, and it really doesn't matter what your past is either. It doesn't matter what the people around you are doing, what seems to be very clear is that when you make a decision to change your reality, it happens instantly, regardless of everything that's come before. So it's never too late. You can literally change your reality, your beliefs, your thoughts, your behaviours, habits, everything like that. You can change instantaneously if you want to and if you know how. I do explain more about how you can do this in the in the video I mentioned. It's not There's no catch, it's just a video here on YouTube. Um, but yeah, it's literally never too late you can do this stuff instantly. And one of the other experiments showed something very interesting regarding free will, and this is another debate entirely, but it talks about how in some cases, with this modification of the twin slit experiment, they, in this modification, in this modified version, they decided how they were gonna observe the particles after the particles had already been fired towards the, the background. And if you're familiar with the twin slit, uh, then you hopefully you know what I mean by that. If not, please go and check out my video, The Language of Reality Shifting because uh, I explained those experiments. Okay, so in this variation, they decided after the experiment had already happened, how they were going to observe the results. Based on how they, you know, what they decided to do after the experiment, it physically changed the past, as in it changed how the experiment went before. So this shows something very interesting, that not only can you change things instantaneously, but you can actually change things in the past. You can, you know, rewire and re reconfigure these things. Now, obviously this was just an experiment on uh, photons of light. Very, very tiny things. Um, very, very hard, impossible to see uh, an individual photon with your naked eye. They have to use very powerful pieces of equipment to, to measure this, but the effect is there. So if the effect is there for a photon, it must then therefore be echoed in bigger and bigger structures. Because as above, so below. You know, the things, that you see in the micro world, you also see in the macro, in the big scale world. The patterns in the iris of your eye, for example, are very, very similar, almost exactly the same as some patterns you see in galaxies. So they echo each other. These, the micro world echoes the macro world and vice versa. So going back to your original question, what that means is it's never too late to make a change shift to change your beliefs, reality, habits, and thoughts. Because once you make the decision and once you know how, it, there's no time, but it you know, happens instantly. The illusion of time kind of dissolves away and the chain, you just experience the change. I think that is the main question. However, there is one other thing that I wanna make very clear here because I know there's gonna be people watching this who are thinking like, well, okay, you know, I've, I've tried for years and I've not been able to change things. There is, well, there are a number of reasons for that. The, the biggest one is to do with belief. And I know this might sound like a vague kind of like, you know, get out of jail free card, but belief really is important. And if you're not having the results you want, it's almost, almost guaranteed to be because your belief, and I'm talking about your subconscious, right? 
you subconsciously don't believe it's possible or that you can do it. And this is based on years and years of programming, of people telling you you can't do it, of you know, um, mainstream media, mainstream science and physics, the kind of like approved truth organizations, you know, which really then they're, they're not anything like that in, uh, in reality. But society thinks they are. That are really just trying to play catch up with ancient knowledge. The years of programming that these have built up telling you you can't do something or that it's impossible has built layers and layers of belief in your subconscious mind. So that now when you try and change something, you're hitting this concrete wall of resistance that is very difficult to break through. Not impossible, but difficult, especially if you're you know above the age of 50. Your beliefs at this point are entrenched very strongly in your subconscious mind. It's easier for, for kids, for children and young people. And this is why, especially on TikTok, you see thousands of young people posting TikTok saying like, wow, I was able to shift, I was able to change my reality. Uh, in many cases, fairly effortlessly because they haven't built up that those years and decades of programming and negative beliefs based on other uh, sources of information. They basically just heard about an idea, shifting or, or holographic universe or whatever, took it on board, believed it, and then experienced it. And that's really how life should be. You should be able to, f you know, fluidly kind of take on belief, experience it, decide to create something, experience it, and have this kind of very almost effortless flow in your life. But that gets harder the older you get if you if you g get to a certain age without trying this stuff. So not to say that it's impossible, it's definitely not, but it's more difficult if you're above the age of 50 because of those years and decades of programming and, y and you building up that uh, experience of not being able to do those things, seemingly. But it's not impossible and there are many things you can do. So like I said, check out the video that I mentioned because that does explain some powerful techniques and tricks that you can use to shift. And also check out my, on my other channel, Astral HQ, I made a, an hour long video um, on YouTube here that shows you how to raise your vibrations. It's so powerful and this, this video really explains in the most concise way I can think of how to raise your vibrations, change your reality and break these holding patterns. Like I said about this, that wall of concrete. The techniques I teach in that video, will you'll just dissolve that wall, basically. It will become a non-issue. So yeah, pretty powerful stuff. The links to these to those two videos are in the description or in the pinned comment. If not, just go to my channel, Astral HQ, search for vibrations, look for the hour long video, or just go to my channel and watch my other videos. Uh, so yeah, go and leave a comment now saying, I affirm that I can shift, or something positive, something that affirms that you believe something. An affirmation, like I believe I will shift, I believe in this, whatever. It has to be positive and it has to reinforce a belief that you want to have, that you, that you want to experience as reality. So yeah, go and do that now and uh, leave questions. I'm gonna start answering people's questions more on this channel. So leave some questions and I'll see you next time.